I got called immediately from our staff and told me what happened. Of course, I rushed right up here and made sure we had the Sheriff's Department up here very, very quickly. But all I can say, I'm very proud of our staff and how they handled this, uh, this crisis. Uh, and they did a great job. All the staff came together. It's just like when we lose a child in the zoo and they can't find its mother or father. There's a code red that they call and they close down the zoo. And the same thing happened here. All the staff did a great job as far as letting the people aware what was, going, what was happening. So safety came first. And, uh, it's something that we'll always learn from. Okay. Um, what were you, are you? I understand you'll probably be here all day. Uh, the zoo is my favorite place, especially on weekends. <laughs> what were you planning to do today? Just like everybody else, just have an uh, enjoyable day and enjoy the weather. But come to Turtleback Zoo is where I always like to be. Did uh, Did your blood pressure go up when you first heard the news? Of course. There's no question. You know, because the first thing that came out said the leopard escaped, and you, then you start thinking about all these crazy things you have, what could happen, what should be done, and you got to be 10 steps ahead. And we're very fortunate, we've got a great director, we've got great staff here that really knows what to do in cases of emergency. Okay, great. Thank you. All right.